Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Clarice 5. Clarice 5 is the brand new installment from the folks at Isotropic and Clarice is an amazing layout and set dressing tool. Now for those who haven't seen this before, you probably don't know what this is. This is by far one of the coolest tools that you need to get. So what we're going to do is take a look at what Clarice looks like right now and talk about some of the updates and then we'll come back right here and take a look at some new features that are currently in Clarice. So with Clarice simply opened right now, you would notice that we have a simple UI. And of course, if you've seen the Nanite video, you'd definitely know that this is the lava monster that we made earlier. So one thing with Clarice is you can throw in significant amount of geometry into Clarice and it will handle them perfectly fine. So a very good example is this. I select this object and I go over here where we have our geometry. Let's just go over to display and make this one invisible. Select this other one and make it invisible as well and we would get the grid make that visible and also make the scatter visible you would notice that we have this as much so it's also worth knowing that there is a huge improvement to how clarice actually handles your data right now as they've also made the usd import and also export extremely robust so at this point if you're working with usd you can now easily export uh, scatters you can also export combiners you can also export every single thing that you've created within clarice so for this example, if you would like to, you know, make this a whole lot more, of course you can go ahead and select the geometry itself that you're using as your base cutter. And if you go down to where you have the spans, you can span this to about 20 by 20. And we can actually make this 100 by 100. And you can see that within our viewport, we already have 2.1 billion polygons and still counting. So you can even go as much as making this about 30 by 30 and Clarice would actually handle this very very well so for those that are into layout and set dressing this is a beautiful tool that you should actually consider taking a look at so speaking about things that you can now do with Clarice despite the fact that there's a huge update to the USD there's also some very new improvements and also some very new stuff that you might also notice once you open up Clarice so once you open up Clarice one of the things you would notice is right here where we have the property inspector aka attribute editor you would notice that we have a brand new look to this so at this point you can now simply click and turn things off and actually turn on the ones that you would like to see at a given time so let me just simply go ahead and turn this off select the scatter and turn this one off as well you can now focus on the things that matter and those tabs that doesn't really matter that simply clutters your ui right now you can now take them out and if we go back to what we had before we can also go ahead and make sure that we turn this on and then we can go over to the grid and turn this one on and you can see that right now so moving forward there is also some very good improvement to how clarice actually handles light to me i think this is one of the biggest improvements with clarice as your light handling is one of the things that they've actually done extremely extremely well so in this situation let's say you would like to scatter light or you want to create light you can actually create lights with a lot of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this combiner. Actually, let's go ahead and open up these tiny spheres one after the other. And then let's hide the combiner so that you can see what we have. So with a simple sphere like this, with Clarice right now, you can now convert any object that you have to become a source of light. So for us to take a good look at this, we need to go over to the image viewer. And at this point, you would notice we have nothing. So if you go over to the lighting tab, you'll notice that we have a brand new object that exists here, which is known as your geometry light. Clicking on the geometry light with an object selected actually takes that object and plugs it into the geometry light tool. And if you select the geometry light tool and go all the way down here, you would notice that the geometry that we had selected before is now the geometry that the geometry light would use to emit light. At this point, you would not notice any light. And for you to start seeing the light, you need to go over to where you have your intensity. And for this one, I'm just going to crack this one. And then we need to zoom all the way out. And you notice that as we zoom out, we still get to see the previous uh, you know scatter that we have so what we can do is click on scatter and go all the way to where we have rendering and probably because we don't want this one to be visible within the render we can also take this out so we go over to render visibility and then turn this off so we don't want it to be seen by the renderer and for this case we also don't want it to be seen by the camera I'll also do the same thing here so we get that selected we don't want this to be seen and also that so for the object that we just selected earlier, we'd have that selected, tap F on the keyboard, and right now you can zoom right to it. For this light, we don't want to have any form of light, so I'm just going to go over to the intensity and set this to zero. So now, for those that are into creating geometry lights or you're thinking about creating geometry lights, 
This is actually something that you can now do within Clarice. So at this point, we can take a look at the intensity and we can crank this intensity all the way to 10 and you can see what we have right here. And for those who are also thinking about how can you tie textures to this, is this even possible? Yes, it is. So we've also gone ahead to import a texture inside a different context, which is here. And to get a texture in, all you need to do is right click, go over to new, go over to where you have texture, go over to your maps, and then you can get a map file. So to get that texture working, what we need to do is select our geometry light object, go over to where we have color, and then click on this tiny texture grid, and then select the texture. So for this one, we'll go over to context, select the map file, and click on apply. And you can see how the lights are actually distributed directly from the emission. And this brings us to talking about something that the folks at Isotropic has also added to the lights, which is known as the emission important sampling. You no longer need to fake lights whenever you're using emissions as you can actually turn on the emission important sampling. And this would use the material that exists with the geometry and distribute lights within your scene. So in this case, if you're also thinking about using the geometry lights with scatters or maybe you want to use these for combiners you can also choose to do that so tons of stuff that you can do here it's also worth knowing that right now with clarice there is a brand new shader that exists and that is the autodesk standard surface material that complements what you can get or simply fuses what you get with the disney principled shader alongside with the standard surface shader that already exists with clarice and of course there's lots of things that is currently available for those who would like to try out clarice there is a clarice ifx and also the clarice builder that is now available for personal learning editions and of course you can get this ones for free there's also tons of cool things that is now available now and of course there's also the camera overlay now this one gives you a couple of things for those who would like to get an adequate weighting within their scene. So let's say you like to get things like rule of thirds, you want to get a good composition guide, like rule of thirds, maybe you want to get some spirals, you want to get all of those golden ratio stuff within your scene. Right now with Clarice, you can actually turn these things on as a camera overlay and they will help you get that good composition and actually balance weights when you are trying to compose or even set your scenes properly. The new graph editor is here for those who like to do animation. I've talked about the USD support. There's also USD variant that is now supported. And for those that would like to get some anti-aliasing, there's a huge improvement to that. We talked about the emission important sampling and you might want to check this one out, especially if you're into lighting. There's huge light improvement with this version. The geometry light is one of the cool things that you can get. There's faster hair and four rendering currently. And of course, there is the enhanced attribute editor. And for me, I just kind of feel like uh, for this enhanced, you know, attribute a detail that there should be something. Now, this is just me being uh, a bit picky, but what I would like to see, let me just set this all the way to one. What I would like to see is instead of getting, you know, just once you select an object, instead of getting this, you have to click and click out. Maybe they could pull the Adobe Substance string. So for example, if we all have all these things turned on, it would be cool to see that if you hold down Alt or Control, just given key, and then you click, only this one gets active and the other ones get deactivated. And that is one of the things that I kind of like to see with something like this. So far so good, there's a whole lot of things that you can get out of this. And it's also worth knowing that Clarice right now is moving to Python 3.7. So during installation, you'll be urged to stay with either Python 2.7, which is going to be deprecated over time, or you can proceed to get Python 3.7. And just in case you're having issues with fixing this, there's also a very tiny blog right here that actually talks about how you can get this working for yourself. So this is more like it for those who like to take a look at Clarice or maybe you like to join the June events, which is going to be coming on the 16th of June. I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here. And of course, if you want to read more about Clarice, you want to see some of the cool things that's currently available, probably you want to test Clarice. You can actually jump right over here, download Clarice for free, test it out, play with it, get good with it and tell me what you think about this one in the comment section. If you like this video or you learned something from it, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.